Good morning, my little potato waffles. How are you this morning? Well, I've got an absolutely cracking video. It's even more cracking for me. Now, I'm excited, so I'm going to try and not speak so fast. But I have got another grill knife. And I got it a couple of days ago, and it's taken all my strength not to put it up on video before I carried and used it. And it's this beauty here. This is a Northwoods knife. This is a, a knife that's made by GEC for an outside company. They're like hen's teeth, especially if you live in the UK. They're like hen's teeth. But my GEC pimp, Mad63 Taz, I'll put his name down below. Go and follow him on Instagram. He has a huge collection of uh, pocket knives, traditional mostly. Uh, just an, a really, really nice fella who has gone out of his way to help me in this recent year. And I thank him so much for his help. So what did I buy? Well, just as a matter of fact, normally when you get a GEC, you get a tube and all that. Well, you don't with Northwoods. You get this beautiful coin. There we go. And that's the Northwoods logo that you'll see on their knives. You get that beautiful coin. It's a, a copper coin by the looks of it. And it just comes in a baggie. And the one that I have got is the Northwoods Harrison Bay Cur Curaco Orange Burlap Micarta. That's the way it comes. But it also comes with this beautiful leather slip. So rather than a tube, which I love the tubes, but I do like this slip. This is a lovely slip. And it's nicely sized for the knife that I've got, which is a small knife. And as you know, I do like my small knives. Because I love them as a secondary carry. That's it. That's what I've got them for. So let me just put this up here. Now, not cover my hiney. Don't forget the new code will be coming out soon for next month. Make sure you get that for your discount. But look at that beautiful knife. Look at that burlap micarta you can see the little orangey type flex in it but it's it's very much in a brown sort of a color but it is so deep i don't know whether it comes across in video but the depth of that micarta really really beautiful i love the shield small bolster and they're not the shiny bolsters but this is the whole joy of a northwoods knife they leave the working marks on the blade. And I just think that is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful blade. It came now, this came secondhand. So it came reasonably sharp, a nice knife. But to carry and use, it is amazing. The pull on this, I would say, is five and a half. About five. Five, five and a half, but perfect for a little EDC. Lovely, lovely um, little indentation here. Put your finger up, which sort of stops it a wee bit. If it was going to close, it'll stop it a wee bit. But, oh, it's just beautiful. The only thing on the stamp is USA, and there's nothing on that side. It's 1095 but that is just the most stunning knife. I am so, it's a grail. And I've been trying to get one in this size to go with my other two. One of them's another grail knife, but one of them's another very beautiful knife that's in this size. So I'm going to show you that as a comparison to what I've got. There I've got my Northwoods knife. And this was a trifecta that I'd wanted to get. Here is my Northfield edition which is the upgrade on the, the GEC, on a basic GEC, just you get shiny blades, long pulls and whatever. And here was my other grail that I never thought I would get, the Tom's Choice TC Barlow. These are the 14 pattern, and this is on that same pattern, exactly the same scale pattern. What a trifecto of knives. That is just, it blows my mind. It just blows my mind. That beauty there is beautiful. So this is a Teddy range, the Northfield range, and the Northwoods range. I am blown away. I could sit and look at that all day. In fact, 
this last lot of days, I don't know how many times I've had these two knives out alongside this, just holding in my hand and such. I can't believe I've got them. I'm over the moon. I got this for a reasonable price. Now, we're always talking about fit and finish on knives. Let me show you the fit and finish on the back of this one. There you go. Do you want to know something for a GEC knife? These smaller knives, now that one is absolutely perfect. You might, I don't think you can see anything on that one. And on that one, you can see that the blade is a little bit proud and it's a little bit sunken on this one. So if you were to say, are they perfect? No, they're not perfect. This smaller pattern seems to have slight imperfect. Now, look, you can run your finger along that and along there and you're not going to feel anything. As far as lockup goes, each one of these is completely 100% solid. No wobble, up or down. No movement whatsoever, up or down. Absolutely solid. But come on, tell me you don't like that. Tell me you don't like that. And I, I just look at the blade shape, the swedge, the way they've left that working finish on the top half of the blade. I just think it is stunning. And it's a great wee hard use knife. I was cutting boxes up with it. It's absolutely great. Absolutely great. So, you know, even as an EDC, if that's all I had, I can do everything I need to do in a day. But a beautiful knife. And I think you'll agree, as a trifecto, I would love to be able to do this. Maybe not, I'll not get all, there's not, there isn't that many TC Barlows out there anyway, you know, in patterns. But I'm going to try and get the high-end Northfield Tidiot and Northwoods. That is my goal for different patterns that I like. So it's given me another avenue to go down where I don't have to rush. I can just get it over time. I couldn't afford to buy them. Although I got this at a reasonable price because the... the Look, a GEC owners I have found are very honest about their knives. They'd actually said, you know, about the back of the knife that it wasn't, you know, 100. Look, it's, there's nothing that I would ever think. It's just a slight bit of, I don't, it's not even so much gapping, but there's just, it's a bit sunken down here. When the blade's open, it's a bit sunken. You can, can you, just, and no more catch your nail on that. But the owner was very honest about it. And he sold me at a price which was very, very reasonable. It was a man here in the UK. I haven't got permission to give his name out, so I'm not going to. But just a... Oh, I keep saying beautiful, but I'm so excited. It's gorgeous. I, I, look at that. Tell me you don't like that. Right. Okay. Right. Stop, Stephen. Now, let me just show you... Oh. I'm just bashing me out. Let me just show you comparisons to other knives that I have that are in that. To give you a size of what the, the 14 pattern is, there's a case, or not a case, a Rough Rider Peanut. So there's not a huge, if I bring this down here, you can see that better. It's not a huge difference in size from a Peanut, but a much more sturdy knife. Something that I think is a better comparison is the Case Swayback Gent, which is, again, a small knife, and it's just lit they're about exactly the same size as the 14 pattern it's a bit longer in the handle shorter in the blade uh, as a gec 14 pattern but come on um them three although they're absolutely lovely knives and i love having them in my collection they just don't compare to these other two and i'm sorry i'm going to put it down to you again there's the tc barlow and there's the northfield stag bone how stunning is that? So, from a wee excited Paddy who has got a beautiful collection, it's just got better. And I've just been given news today um, that I have a custom knife, custom made knife. Now, it's a locking knife. It's not a traditional, but it's on the way to me. Should be here tomorrow. Uh, I'll carry it for a few days first. I might give you a glimpse on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, same name over there. You might get a glimpse of it first, and it's a high-end custom-made knife. Not something... Now, the company have kindly sent it to me. It's worth looking out for. It is a stunner. Well, put it like this. One of my favourite reviewers, if I want to find a nitpick, Nick Shabazz reviewed the same knife and called it a gem. So there you go. 
So that's coming to the channel. So I'm, I'm just over the moon. I'm on top of the world. I have plenty of new knives to show you that are on the way or are here and I just haven't reviewed them yet. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support because without your support, I wouldn't be getting this custom knife. Um, so I can't do this alone and it's you that makes my channel what it is. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I hope you're enjoying seeing the variety of knives that I have. I'm certainly enjoying more so now that I have got a diverse variety um, of showing them to you and sharing my love of the pocket pen knife. Take care, everybody. Putties away for a week of a day. Bye-bye now.